The number of the protesters increase as soon as Channel's television crew is sighted. This is Godo community in the Korodu area of Lagos State. The community shares boundaries with Beribe, a community the Lagos state government has ordered to vacate a 250 acres of land allegedly taken over by a land grabber whose name is given as Lamina, but popularly called Sake. These protesters fear the order from the state government has an undertone. Because they mentioned the uh... Our family name, Oyega and Oyegumiga family, that's why we believe that we are, they are talk, talking about our land. We bought land from uh, Oyegumiga uh, family, so that is all we know about this. We were never a land grabber, so anybody that addresses us, we are land grabber, we never a land grabber. We are into property. Marking like this one are usually done by the Lagos state government, and this means the building would have to go down. The people of Bodo say the markings is a show of force to send them out from their inheritance. When I received my pension money, I bought this land from the Oyegbe Miga family and my children built the house. I left the community for a while to nurse my grandchild. And when I returned, I was told the Lagos government has taken possession of my house. I have lived here for 20 years and wonder why government is doing this. Where will I move to if I'm thrown out of here? Where from our instigated Lagos government that uh, this particular place belonged to the Ministry of Agriculture, to the best of our knowledge, there was nothing of that nature. I was at the Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperatives to clarify the allegations against it. The permanent secretary minced no words in saying that the government would go ahead with its plans to sack communities illegally occupying any government's property. We have a very good plan in Lagos where all portions of Lagos is uh, divided into uh, you know, uh, residential, recreational, industrial and agricultural uses. So we have land areas that have been designated for agriculture. And the land you have in mind, you know, in question is agricultural land. And um, in any sense society, you cannot allow uh, land designated for agriculture to be converted to non-agricultural uses. What this portends is a danger for food security in the state. If everybody continues to build and build and build, we'll get to a stage in Lagos where we will not have any agricultural land and we'll have to depend on out of state for everything that we eat in Lagos state. So Perhaps the coming days will put the brewing controversy between Bodo community and the Lagos state government in the right perspective. These protesters vow to resist actions capable of dislodging. For the big story, Loretta Chiyoko, Channels Television News.